Hello, hope everybody's doing good out there today. Today I want to talk about uh, protecting documents and paperwork. Uh, that, that includes uh, maps and things like that. Plus we're going to be talking about the giveaway. It's finally here. Thank you very much for all my subscribers. So we'll be getting into that coming right up. Okay, well, protecting documents. One of the first things you should do is get yourself a Ziploc baggie. Take it out to your car. Put your insurance card and your registration in a Ziploc baggie. Then put it back in your glove box. Always keep, keep your documents in a watertight container. Next thing. Always have a bill in your car, whether it be your water bill, I'm talking about a bill for, uh, for your house, a bill that you pay regularly. Keep a current bill, because I know a lot of times in flood situations and stuff, even though you have your ID, they want to see something more current. So if you have a bill from the, a month or two months, maybe even three months ago, keep it in your vehicle. Something showing your name, your address, and that you paid the bill. Okay? I keep this. This is a uh, food saver bag. It's vacuum sealed, waterproof. It's got a copy of the title for my property, birth certificates, and all kinds of things like that. that if an emergency arises and you have to get out of your house, I keep this in a place close by where if I have to get out of the house, I can grab this. I can even open my front door and throw this out into the front yard like if it's a house fire or something. So you might think about something like that. Maps. Keep them in a Ziploc baggie. I know a lot of people don't have maps anymore, but you know what? You can still get them. I just got these. This is an Oklahoma and a Texas map. I live right on the, uh, well, not right on the border, but very close to the border of Texas and Oklahoma. So I've got local maps. And I'm going to show you how you can protect them even further than just putting them in a Ziploc baggie. And we'll be, uh, We'll be showing you that in a few. Then, I don't like to look at the, the worst, but they're talking about it on the news and stuff. EMP attack. Old Kim Jong-un has been talking about using nukes and stuff. Well, all those beautiful photographs of your children, your grandchildren, your farm, your animals, if there was an EMP attack, if you got all them pictures on a computer and something like that happens, they may be gone forever. I suggest you get some... I'm not sure if you can see that or not. Get yourself a few extra... I hope that's focusing in. A few extra cards. Put them on there, or a thumb drive. Copy your documents. I know almost all computer printers now come with scanners. Take all your documents, like what's in this. Scan them. Save them as a PDF file. Put them on there, along with all your family photos and Another thing you can do is take pictures around your house of all your property, whether it's TVs, uh, game consoles, whatever you own. Take pictures and save it on that. That way if something happens, you have a record documenting. You might even take pictures and look on the back of the device as you're taking the pictures or video, listing serial numbers and stuff. That way, if there's a flood or something and you lose everything, you got a record to show your insurance company. 
for me, the main thing I'm concerned with is photos. I love keeping photos of all my grandchildren and children. Keep it on there. Okay, then back it up about once a month. Because I don't know about you, but I usually add an extra 10, 12 photographs a month at least. Then drop them in a Ziploc baggie. Curl that up. Seal it. That protects it from moisture. Get yourself a little cardboard box. Put that thumb drive inside that cardboard box. Okay. Get yourself some aluminum foil. Make sure it's enough to go around it a couple of times. Wrap that up. Now I'm not guaranteeing that's going to protect it from an EMP. But it's better than not trying to protect it at all. Okay, something we're going to try out on these maps here in a little bit. This piece of paper, and I'm not going to take credit for this idea. I saw this on, um, I'll think of his uh, channel here in a little bit. Ron Hazelton. Uh, he uh, does home improvements and things like that. I saw a thing that he did with the map here, and we're going to go out and, and test it on this here. Um, I'm also going to spray my maps, but I'm not going to go through all that on tape here. But I'm going to demonstrate with this piece of paper. Okay, ronhazelton.com, uh, I believe is what his, uh, his um, website is. Anyway, I took this piece of paper. It's probably going to be kind of hard to see. I zoomed in a little too far, I think. Okay. I put some scribbling up here. This first line is pencil. This next line is black ink. The next line is blue ink. This was a highlighter marker. And then this was just a... Uh... Oops. Sorry about that. Okay. First line up here was scribbling with pencil. Next one was black ink. Next one was blue ink. This was a highlight highlighter. And this was a uh, permanent marker. As you can see, that half of this, just a little over half of it, is kind of blurred. I was testing this out. What I was doing, I was spraying it with some Thompson water sealer. And we're going to go outside take the camera out there, we're going to set this up and I'm going to spray it with some water and we'll see how it does. Now it did fade the uh, ink a little bit, especially on the highlighter and the permanent marker. The pencil is excellent, didn't do any effect. The black ink didn't really do any effect. The blue ink, I could tell from the back here, it did uh, affect it a little bit, but the uh, the highlighter pin and the permanent marker it did mess up. So we're going to take this outside. We're going to spray it with some water and see how that works out. Then I'm going to go ahead and do a map and we'll just put in, I'm not going to show you spraying it all that. Everybody knows how to spray it. What you want to do though is you want to take it, put it on a surface, take your spray, spray it all once really good almost to the point of where the papers not saturated but where you can see that it's soaking into the paper you want to let it dry then do another coat over it okay well um, let's go outside take the camera out and get it set up and uh, I'm going to take this to a, uh, a cardboard box and we'll spray it down with some water and just see how everything, well, let's see, that's the way. Uh, remember that this is the side that's been treated, this side's untreated. The line actually kind of, oops, the line kind of actually goes down here. Uh, I, I covered half of it with a cardboard box, but it did leak over, or leach over to this side a little bit. So we're going to take this out, spray it all down with some water, and see how well this side's protected. See if we get any more running of, uh, 
these inks here and see if the water just beads up maybe we'll see follow me on outside and we'll get to checking this out well we're outside now here's that piece of paper this is the treated side and it comes over to about here and then this is the untreated side what we're going to do is we're going to spray this down I'm going to bring the camera way in closer so you're not going to be able to see me too well or probably not see me at all because I want to zoom in on this to see if there is a big difference between treating it with the uh, water sealer, the Thompson water sealer, and the untreated. To see if any of the inks run, to see if the water just beads off or soaks in. So we'll uh, get the camera in here and get to doing the test. All right, well, we got the camera zoomed in there. Uh, hopefully that's close enough to see. And uh, we're just going to do a light misting at first and see what happens. Oops. Yeah, that's on the spray. I don't even know if you can see that on there. Can't really tell a whole, bit, my, a whole bunch of difference there by just looking at it. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to run in, grab a paper towel, and see if we can just kind of wipe this dry, and then we'll look at the back side of the paper. Okay, well, we sprayed it to see something here. We'll just wipe this all down like this. And uh, I want to look at the back side and see. Well, I could definitely tell the difference. This feels like it's going to rip right here. It feels real. But this side, it is. It is definitely drier. Um, I don't see any smudging of paint or the ink on either side. I want to soak this down real good. And we'll just give it a second here. Okay, you can see how this paper is just lifting up over here. That's because it didn't get wet behind it. See how this paper is sticking? It's sticking down to the cardboard. It did, uh, it did soak into the paper. This side is, believe it or not, dry. This side you can definitely feel it's wet. So the Thompson water sealer on your papers, I wouldn't do this on like legal documents. Um, Unless you have spare copies of birth certificates, or things like that. Um, but like I'm going to demonstrate here in a little bit on maps. Now I'm not going to be able to spray the map down afterwards, but I'll, I'll put one of the maps out here and uh, go ahead and spray it down with the sealer. But yeah, that, uh, that trick works. Uh, like I said, ronhazelton.com. Um, you can also find him. He's got a uh, Facebook page. Uh, if you... Uh, let me... Hold on a second. Let me zoom this back out. Move the camera back so I can talk to you here. Uh, but like I was saying, I got this idea from uh, Ron Hazelton's House Calls. And uh, if, you're, if you like watching uh, home improvement programs and things like that, excellent. He's always got good things, and every uh, every week they've got a giveaway for uh, a sack of uh, a tool bag with uh, a saw and a drill, and I can't remember what all's in it. But anyway, you might look it up. Ron Hazelton's house calls. He's also got a TV show that comes on in my area here. It comes on early on Saturday mornings. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and pull this off. I'm going to bring one of the maps out, tape it on here, and start spraying that. So, we'll get right back to you on that one. I guess this is when a picnic table would come in handy, which I don't have. Uh, as you can see, this map is way bigger than that cardboard box I had. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to just spray part of it at a time, and then flip it over and 
do the other part. So what you want to do is just shake your can up first, which I already did. Just almost like you're like if you're spray painting it. Which in essence is what you're doing. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave that out here, let that dry, then I'll put another coat on it, let that dry, then I'll turn the map over. I did it almost in half. I know the crease right there where I stopped. So what I'll do is I'll flip it around and then do the other portion of it. And it should be good to go. Now it's not going to protect it if you drop it in the water and it gets completely soaked. But if you're out trying to read your map and it's sprinkling or it starts to rain, or if you're hiking somewhere and it gets a little wet, it's not going to ruin it. You're going to definitely be protected from that happening. So, anyway, let's get back inside and talk about the giveaway. Alright, well I hope that uh, gave you an idea of uh, how you can protect your documents and your paperwork and maps and things like that. And some ideas about uh, protecting your data media. <clears throat> now to the giveaway. In a second, there will be three different pictures that come up on the screen. And uh, a one word title underneath it or on it. In the comments down below, just type in the, the word for that particular item. And if your name is drawn, that's the, uh, the gift that you'll be receiving. So, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Please share my videos. And when you subscribe, hit that little bell down there. And that way it'll uh, give you an idea of, uh, or a notification, excuse me, of next time we upload a video. Which you'll want to stay tuned for because that's the one that's going to let you know. Well, actually I'll send you a, a text message or something letting you know that you're the one that won. And... Uh, your gift will be coming straight from Amazon. So, till next time, stay prepared. If you'd like to receive the radio, just type in radio in the comments below. If you would like to receive the book, just type in the word book in the comments below. This next one, we put two items together. If you would like the one pound propane tank refiller and the deck of wild edible cards, just type in the word propane. Thank you very much and stay prepared.